LeBron James is a complete idiot. Now, I know this has nothing to do with this particular video. However, I just like saying that. Hello, my name is Kyle and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm actually going to talk to you about the PGA Championship, how it outdrew the NBA by a whopping margin on a Sunday. That's something that's really unheard of because Sunday is a premium day for the NBA. And we're going to get into that right here. This is from the PatriotGazette.com. The headline is the PGA Championship crushes the NBA playoffs and TV ratings. Fans appear to be getting sick of the left wing anti cop agenda of the NBA league and its players are now tuning out. We've been saying that for a while. They've been tuning out big time. While golf generally has fewer fans overall than the NBA, it actually crushed the NBA playoffs over the weekend when the two went head to head. Now we have a situation where we have a minor major league division or league, the PGA. And without Tiger Woods really being a prominent figure, it just hasn't reached those numbers that it had in the 90s and early 2000s. So now it's going up against the NBA, which is supposed to be like the juggernaut of sports. It should be up there with the NFL, MLB, but no. Because the NBA has done such a good job of alienating its fan base, pissing off the American people, insulting the American people. And this week, they even had a coach blame Republicans for lack of attendance in their game, gaslighting the public saying, well, you know, I know we only got like 11,000 people, but it sounded like 30,000 people. And we're happy with that. Uh, no, you're not. Attendance is down physically. And right now in terms of ratings, it's down as well. It says here, despite all the hype for the NBA playoffs, when you after the bubble, and the bubble, by the way, is when they had that tournament last year when all the teams were in one building in one area playing on the same court, what they called the bubble. Stars like the China James, Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, and these other people, James Harden took the L this weekend to the PGA championships. And look, the PGA championships is not the masters. Okay. Now I follow golf and volunteer for golf for many, many years. So I know a little bit about it and probably more than most people. But the PGA Championship is of the four majors. I would dare say it's the lesser of all of them, right? So you have the Masters, then you have US Open, then you have the Open Championships, which is we call the British Open. And then of course you have the PGA Championship. So you have the lesser of the three majors destroying the NBA, who is a premier league in sports. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Used to be a premier league probably like in the mid 2000s. But since then, since they've gone woke and become ridiculous, people just don't care anymore. So Clay Travis from the Outkick site says this, the PGA Championship ratings crushed the NBA playoffs on Sunday, delivering a whopping 50% more viewers than any NBA game. Any NBA game, 50% more viewers. I mean, it'd be one thing if it was like, you know, 5%, 10%. No, dude, it absolutely crushed it. And see, I'm going to go off on the thing here. Okay. Cause people say, okay, well, Kyle, again, I mentioned this before. Well, the China viewers help out and the NBA doesn't care about the American viewers. And again, I'm not going to say that's wrong, but at the same time, this is something that is bad for the image of the NBA and it costs millions and millions of dollars to fix it. If it ever can be fixed. I mentioned in other videos before companies spend that kind of money to rebrand themselves, to become something because they want to make sure that their face and image in the public is something that is positive and it costs a lot of money. I mentioned Enron. Okay. How much money would it be to rebrand Enron? It's priceless. You couldn't do it anymore. And that's why the NBA cares. Yes. They may not care about in terms of the viewership, but eventually it catches up with you because advertisers do care because they want the numbers to find out, okay, well, why am I spending my money on your events when you're only getting X number of views? They're going to spend less, which means they're going to have less income for the NBA, which also means the WNBA, which is a hundred percent nearly subsidized by the NBA is also going to suffer. So it trickles all out. So the whole industry of basketball right now, 
other than college maybe, is now in the toilet. It says, most telling numbers come from the top. The Lakers Suns game, game number one, the sports website noted. Let's go over here to Outkick, okay? So here we have here, here are the numbers. As first noted by the Sports Bureau Journal, the final round of the PGA Championship drew 6.6 .6 million viewers, up from 5.2 million from 2020. It's over a million views in one year and 5 million the year before that. So a roughly 2% growth in one year and then a dramatic growth in the following year in 2021. Here are the actual games, the, the, the ratings for those games. So you have the game one here, you have Lakers and Suns was 4.4 million, okay? Which is, <laughs> you see the numbers yourself. Then you have Celtics Nets were 3.8. The Hawks and Knicks, 3 million. The Grizzly Jazz was 2.7 million. And the lowly Washington Wizards, I like to say Washington Bullets because that's really who I grew up with, the Washington Bullets. And the 76ers, 1.9 million. Now, Phil Mickelson won this. Now, I, I will concede Phil Mickelson is a hugely popular athlete. He's just a likable guy, okay? So I will say this, that it could be part of that because Phil Mickelson was in contention and he ended up winning and become the oldest champion of a major in golf and so that's big so i will concede that but still 50 percent higher and if you add everything else in terms of the other numbers that are out there this falls right in line and again i mentioned that particular i think it was doc rivers i believe was the was the coach i don't remember and i'm doing this off the top of my head i believe it was doc rivers was complaining or actually gaslighting the people or the press the media saying that the low attendance was fine. It sounded great. It was, it sounded like it was 30,000 people in the building when it was only 11,000. So now you have people aren't showing up for games and people aren't watching for games. And so that is a major problem. So the truth is the NBA just is not as popular as it's been led to believe. It's, it's true. They're so gaslighting us. It's the primary sport on ESPN and ABC. It's the most frequently talked about sport on social media. Its players' views align with those with the loudest voices in our country. Combine all of that, and you have a product promoted well beyond its interest level. And that's the story. So there you have it. And so here on CNN, <laughs> they link to an article here. This is back in 2020 when they did the Black Lives Matter court thing, and everyone was having to suck up to that. And we did a video yesterday about Black Lives Matter, how they are essentially a Marxist organization that hates America, that is hell-bent on destroying the founding principles of what this country was 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 uh, was founded to be. And that's what Black Lives Matter is. I'm going to say that every single time when I mention Black Lives Matter. They are a racist Marxist organization hell bent on destroying America. Simple as that. And one thing, this is like off the subject a little bit. But one last thing here. This dude here, my man, who did that viral video talking about LeBron James, about the, the incident that happened when the officer protected the lady from being stabbed. And this officer mocks LeBron James, makes him look like an idiot. Like I said in the beginning of this particular video, he got in trouble with his cop, with his uh, police force. I believe he got fired or reprimanded or lost his pay or something. Anyway, this gentleman here ended up having a GoFundMe set for him, which is now at $500,000. And so good for him. And so uh, I know I saw a video by him that he is actually using that money to actually raise awareness for law officers. I'd be afraid going forward, being bullied by these athletes who are irresponsible. And this guy was just calling it the way he saw it. And he was mocking the truth that we were all saying that LeBron James was wrong for doxing that officer. And he did it before with those ambush officers. Again, I mentioned that before, but this is not the first time for LeBron James has done this. And so I'm glad that that happened. And I'm glad that officer is getting some benefit from that and getting some relief from that because I know it's been hard for him and his family. So that what you thought about this, what you thought about the PGA Championship, a minor of all the four majors, the, 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 the least of all the majors dominating the NBA on its heyday in the beginning of his own playoffs. <laughs> what do you feel about that? I have a, I have an idea what you're going to say in the comments. I'm looking forward to seeing that. And if you like what we do on this channel, we take pop culture and politics and filter to you in a conservative manner. In other words, filter to you right. Then please consider hitting that like and subscribe button and that bell icon so you don't miss any future content. And also there's a join button there that you can click to find out how to support this channel. We really appreciate that. As always, please check out some content that we have right here.